I have moved the project over to uh, the lab with a demo. Uh, so there has been uh, some configuration changes, some hardware changes from the first part um, that match what's in the hardware demo. Uh, basically the hardware demo has some extra I.O. and two drives. Uh, therefore I had to add uh, those telegrams, uh, but we're not going to really deal with those. We're still just going to deal with the one drive. Uh, just to sort of show what's going on, uh, but you'll you'll notice with clicking around that there's actually more axes and uh, more I/O cards on the uh, uh, the rack of the uh, PLC. Uh, none of which really affect uh, uh, the example. Uh, the only thing that affects the example uh, is that the hardware identifier name uh, number has changed. Uh, but we kind of go and look at it again to reconfirm that we get that number uh, because it's crucial. Now uh, we got to put in the hardware I ad hardware ID address there. Um, that's for whichever drive or uh, uh, piece of uh, electronics equipment that's on the Profi bus. Um, this is different than the old Step 7, where you actually use the um, the actual I/O address that the data was showing up at, versus a pointer to the the device that they use now. Now I've uh, made a uh, just a little array uh, sits in a DB. You can do it any way you want. You can use M memory, but whatever program technique you like. Uh, that way the data will get passed to and from uh, an 11 uh, element, uh, or sorry, 12 element array. Um, uh, in the 1500 you can actually make a data type and have everything defined, uh, predefined uh, with the names of the what each element does in the drive. Um, couldn't seem to get that to work with the uh, 1200, it seemed to just want an array. Uh, then you kind of have to handle that array uh, after the fact, the way you want to do things. But that's all individual programming techniques and preferences. Now if we uh, have used the right hardware address and we have the right uh, uh, number of elements in the array, you'll get a status of zero, which is good. Anything other than zero is bad. Um, here I'll quickly put in the, purposely the wrong hardware ID and it's going to, it's going to say, hey, not a zero value, but it's more important than that. It'll actually, if we look at it in uh, hex format, it'll actually tell you some information about why it's not right. Uh, and we look at it in hex because the help file shows the numbers in hex. So you line them up, you want to be in the same uh, format, it's much easier that way. And I'll, you know, just hit F1 and bring up the help and go down here and look up what that number means it's a little generic but it's you know it's basically saying that something's up with the hardware address um, and that you need to look and figure out what you're doing wrong there because um, I know what we did wrong I purposely put the wrong one in
Okay, we have to uh, just add a rung here um, that's going to uh, keep uh, the tenth bit on all the time. Uh, this is critical. Uh, your code will not operate the drive without this bit on. You can't set this bit on later. You can't turn it on at will. The drive will ignore command telegrams unless the bit 10 is set in the first word, in the command word. Again, nothing's going to work until that bit's set. The drive's going to ignore everything you send. You go look at the drive, you're going to be like, huh, the drive's not getting anything. Yeah, well, bit 10 isn't set. It's the first thing you do before you write any other code. Uh, I've had this argument with numerous programmers who have spent, in some cases, days saying that the drive isn't listening, that the connectivity isn't working. And I said, did you set bit 10 like I said before you even started? Oh, no, I'm going to do that later. I set bit 10. They realize they've wasted days. So, set bit 10. That way it knows that it's, the drive knows that you're talking to it as a drive and not some random I.O. or a power monitor or something like that. It's a legacy thing, but actually it's a good little extra safety item that uh, Siemens has built in.